Okay, so good morning, everybody. It is so absolutely wonderful to see all your smiling faces this morning. I think some of you know me. Uh, I'm Dr. Egan. I'm the very proud superintendent in Kings Park. And I'm also a proud member of the Comac Kings Park Rotary Club. And we're, we're happy to be here this morning. Uh, I'm, I'm joined with my esteemed colleague and friend, David Artem from the Comac Kings Park Rotary. And we're gonna tell you about Rotary this morning and a great project that we've had the pleasure of running the last couple of years, which is the Dictionary Project. And I see some of you have your dictionaries right in front of you. And uh, we're gonna get to do an activity in those, in those dictionaries in a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Artem, who's gonna tell us a little bit about um, Rotary International and what we do as an organization. Thank you, Tim. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as Tim said, my name's David Artem, and I'm a long, long time member of the Rotary Club. And uh, has it, first, anybody ever heard of a Rotary Club? Raise, raise your hand. Anybody? Anybody have a family member maybe who's a member of the Rotary Club? Okay, let's get uh, let's backtrack one step. Any of you belong to a club of any kind? Great, great. So if you belong to a club, you know that a club is a a group of people, right, who get together to do something, right? And uh, so in, in our community, in, in Kings Park and in Comac, which is next door, uh, we have a club of, of members who, uh, who want to do things. We have a purpose, and our purpose is to try to help the communities that we live in. And we try to do things to make our little world in Comac and Kings Park a better place to live. And we are part of a larger group called Rotary International, which is all around the world. And there are about 35,000 Rotary clubs like ours that belong to Rotary International. And the international organization is set up to provide community service around the world. Now, who knows what community service is? I thought so. Who, do, who, in he, who in this group here in all these classes actually does community service? Yeah. All right. I don't know. Can, is, it, is it possible to get sound from any of the classrooms, Dr. Egan? Or, or if I wanted to ask a question or two? I, I believe so. I think, uh, I, I think we can get some participation from our students. Okay. So let, let's uh, let's go around the um, around this, this, the classrooms. Uh, first, I see Mrs. Ms. Hudson's classroom. Um, who who in that class has done community service? I see I see a beautiful uh, young lady with a pink a pink sweatshirt on right in the middle of my screen. What kind of community service have you done? With your hand up. Uh, the, the the audio is muted. There we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, we have a, a, a student in, I'm seeing right in the middle of my screen. Uh, looks like the third desk back in the middle. Yeah, with the pink sweatshirt on. What kind of community service have you done? I, I'm not hearing. Can you hear her, Dr. Egan? I'm sorry. I, I, I can. I think I think we might just have an audio problem, which, which is yeah. which is OK. Um, well, so may, maybe what we can do is we can ask some rhetorical questions. Um, okay. And so, for example, um, I'm very involved in the scouts and the scouts are Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts do a lot of service. Um, raise your hand if you're involved in the scouts. OK. Does anybody belong to a, a church or a synagogue or a mosque where there's community service being done? That's great. That's great. And, 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 and 
what's the reason that we do community service? Why, why do we, why do we spend time? I guess it's hard for you guys to answer. Um, but, um, yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of anxious people willing to provide answers, but I don't think we can do that because of the, um, the audio. Um, so, um, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead from there. So let me tell you a little bit more about Rotary. So we, we work primarily in five or six areas. Um, we, we look to promote um, health and, and help cure disease. We look to make our communities better uh, economically. We look to um, help mothers and children in particular especially in countries around the world where, uh, you know, they probably, they may not have it uh, so, so as good as we have things here and they need special attention and, and assistance sometime. Um, we, we have a big project called polio eradication, which is a, um, polio is a disease, uh, something like COVID, uh, that was very prevalent in the in the in this country and all around the world uh, a couple of generations ago, but it still exists in some parts of the world, and we're looking to uh, get rid of it. We we don't want that anymore. And and then one of our big areas is what we call literacy, and also the environment. So this project, our our dictionary project, of course, comes under the heading of literacy. Because literacy, as you know, I think means learning to read, write, and understand uh, and, and how we communicate with one another. And uh, you know, using a dictionary in particular is a way to improve our literacy. And I'm gonna leave it to Dr. Egan and maybe the teachers to talk a little bit about what the dictionaries do. Um, I see we're being joined at this moment by, um, you, you might see it on your screen, Elliot Kaplan. Elliot, Mr. Kaplan is the vice president of our Rotary Club in Comac and Kings Park. So, so good to see him getting on the uh, video with us. Um, it, I, guess, I guess he's not quite with us yet, but tuning in. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much more time we have to talk about Rotary, but if we want to get into the, um, the actual discussion of the dictionary, we can do that now. Sure. So what we've, what we've done at Rotary is we've raised some funds and provided each of you with your very own dictionary. I see uh, many of you have your dictionaries in your hands right now, which is great. You'll see that that dictionary has the rotary symbol right on it. That's the symbol for Rotary International. On the back, there's a sticker that has what we call the four-way test that we use in Rotary um, when making decisions and things of that nature. And our motto is service above self. We really, as, as Mr. Artem said, we really believe in service and serving others. So what a dictionary is gonna help you to be able to do, and, and these are yours to keep, is to look up words that you might not know the definition of. You might be reading in class and come upon a word and that word might confuse you. You, you don't know what it means, or you might need to wanna to want to spell a word correctly if you're writing something for your teacher. So what I want you to do now for those of you that have your dictionaries in front of you is to see if you can locate the word service. Service is super important. We're talking about service. Let's see if we can find service in the dictionary. So you'll start flipping through and you'll see that everything's in alphabetical order in the dictionary. So you're gonna flip forward to the S's. And when you find service, do, do me a favor and just raise your hand. Okay. 
Let's see who the first student to find service might be. We have one. In oh, the there we go. We got one gold star. Our teachers are helping us a little bit. I, I see some, I see a hand raised in Mrs. H Ms. Hudson's class. There we go, a couple more hands raised. And when you find it, go ahead and read what it says in the dictionary for service. And I'm gonna do the same on my dictionary right here. We'll give everybody one more minute to find service and then go ahead and read what it says there. Got a couple of more hands raised. So if you were having some difficulty, I'll help you out a little bit. It's on page 384. You can flip to page 384 and on the left side there, you'll, you'll find service. Um, I'll give everybody one more minute to turn to that page and read what it says. So very often in the English language, words have many different meanings. And you'll find that in your dictionary. So for example, the first definition that we come to in service is help, helping somebody. You'll also see a religious ceremony. Very often we'll talk about a, a church service. That's not the service we're looking for right now, but that's a different definition of service. And if, if you go down to number five there, you'll see a helpful or useful act, a good turn. And that's a pretty good definition for service. Doing something good for somebody else, not, not for yourself, but to help somebody else out an organization that provides something to the public, some sort of public assistance, individual assistance. And I know service is something that your school district really values. And that's something that Rotary International really values as well. Mr. Kaplan, was, uh, uh, I'm glad that you were able to join us, our, our Rotary Vice President. For the I know, my pleasure. Thank you. Is there anything you'd, you'd like to you'd like to add for our students this morning? Um, yeah, I had learned that service for me, I learned early in life. I had learned about how it felt to give and in return, I got joy. And it is such a wonderful thing when you can leave someone smiling and feeling good about themselves. And when you can do that, you've given more than just something of money. You've given the spread of joy. And that's a service that's worth spreading. Very well said, Mr. Kaplan, very well said. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to add, Mr. Artem? I was gonna just say that um, I'm hoping that next time uh, all of these wonderful students are reading a book or a magazine or even watching a TV show or movie and they hear a word and they don't just don't know what it means. 
that this is going to be the opportunity for you to take a look in this dictionary and, and spend a minute or two um, looking it up because you will see all kinds of information and you will learn so much by, by looking it up yourself. Uh, and, and I don't mean just clicking on a computer uh, to see what a word is. I, I think if you look it up in this book, you will remember it forever. So um, it's, it's a very valuable tool and a, and a wonderful way to help you learn. So I, I, I'm very happy on behalf of the Rotary Club to be able to, with my good friends, present these books to you. And I wanna say thank you for you know, spending a few minutes with the Rotary Club. And uh, I hope you enjoy these books uh, throughout your entire school career and, and beyond. I may add one more thing. I still use my dictionary to this day. I'm reading a book that was originally printed back in the 1920s called Think and Grow Rich. There are words in there that I have not used. I am going back to my dictionary and looking up the meaning and the definition of the words so I can understand better. And I'm old. Yeah. And, and I'm older. And I use <laughs> and I used my dictionary this week too. So yeah. it really is a lifelong tool. So so great to see your smiling faces this morning, boys and girls. You you have an absolutely wonderful day. Enjoy your dictionaries. And uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.